for many Australians last year, 2020 was their most challenging year in living memory. You know, tens of thousands lost livelihoods and for the first time found themselves in receipt of government assistance. And boy, do we remember phone calls running hot in my office and no doubt offices around the country. Thousands required the assistance, not just by JobKeeper, but by other government support, simply so they could make ends meet at their, at their homes, so they could just pay for the bills, pay for the mortgage. A lot were reduced to tears, and for many people experiencing what it means to be on government welfare. Whilst for some the beginning of 2021 saw a return to a relatively normal start to the year in some ways, it is folly to think that these circumstances apply to all. For many Australians, JobKeeper continues to provide a much needed lifeline, keeping them connected to their workplaces and the bills at bay. And I'm deeply concerned listening to other honourable senators in this place, the attitude that comes to the debate before us, the attitude that we had heard today, or lack of, in question time, the effect that a premature withdrawal of JobKeeper will have on many workers around this country, especially those in industries that are still yet to get back on their feet. So I can think of a few, tourism and hospitality, retail, but I do want to touch on aviation. Late yesterday, one of my staff came to this place, traveling from Melbourne, and he encountered a pilot, a pilot who's only been given one shift every month. And in discussions with that pilot, he made it very clear that him and his wife are struggling. Thankful that, yes, they are receiving JobKeeper, but still struggling to make ends meet, struggling to pay for their school fees for their children. And even him going to get a cup of coffee, the lady over the counter felt sorry for him and actually offered to give him a discount for his cup of coffee. But these are the real stories, the real people, the real impact that by withdrawing JobKeeper will have on many, many households around this nation. Working families unable to pay for their bills, unable to send their kids to school and probably unlikely to pay for dinner, for lunch, or even breakfast as well too. But somehow government senators seem to think, oh well, the economy has just got to get back on track, snap back, as they claim. But we do see, and will continue, to have state governments around the country imposing lockdowns because the spread will continue. The spread of the coronavirus will continue, especially whilst people from overseas do enter Australia, and for good reason. But we know that the numbers will be great. The numbers of people that will suffer will be great. The Reserve Bank Governor has told us himself the government's own Treasury Secretary has told us that a pause on the labour market will have an impact on the economy. Now, whilst the government might seek to hide behind non-answers in this place on questions of job losses after the premature end of JobKeeper, we know that for many Australians, the answer will be painfully clear at the end of March. Is this the best that those opposite can muster? Is this the best that they can do to support Australians whilst they're doing it tough? Let me say that this is simply just not good enough, Madam Deputy President.